Okay, so it's Friday as of the time of this recording. It's a little afternoon. And yesterday, you know, Nick Sirianni made an analogy. There's been several stories this week from things he said. So I'm going to react to the most recent one. So he gave it a flower analogy about the team. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to listen to it. I'm not going to share the vid, but I'm going to play that sound bite, and then I'm going to react. Here we go. Make sure I'm ready. You know, the results aren't there right now, but what's going on here is is that there's growth under the soil. I, I, I put a picture of a, a flower up, right? And that it's and it's coming through the ground and the roots are growing out and the roots and the roots are continuing to grow out. And the only way the roots grow out every single day and they grow stronger and they grow they grow better is if that we all put our we all water. Did I just hear that correctly? Did I just hear that correctly? Nick Sirianni, did I just hear that correctly? You used a flower analogy to say that this team is growing? How? How is this team growing? We are two and five. Okay, it would be one thing if we were three and four. It'd be one thing we beat the Falcons, beat the 49ers, and beat the Panthers, and if we said we still lose those four games to the Cowboys, Bucks, Chiefs, and Raiders, but we put up a good fight in those four games, that's a sign of growth. But that's not what's happening, Sirianni. That is not what happened is what's happening at all. Instead, what's happening is we beat the Falcons opening day. We couldn't beat the 49ers, who are a bad team this season. We got blown out by the Cowboys and absolutely embarrassed. Got embarrassed by the Chiefs. Don't let the scoreboard fool you. The only reason we got up to 30 points because our defense is garbage. We barely beat the Panthers without Christian McCaffrey, mind you. And then we got it, we somehow made it close with the Bucs. And we get absolutely embarrassed by the Raiders on Sunday. And that video I made Monday where I compared you to Hugh Jackson. Now that I think about it, I've had a few days to think about it, I do not regret saying that at all. Because you are completely incompetent. Your analogy makes absolutely no sense. And the play of this team does not reflect the analogy in any way. Because if it was, we would have at least played better against the Cowboys and the Raiders. We would have at least played and gave 100%. And at least played a halfway decent game, which we really didn't do. Now, did we? We would have played harder against the Cowboys. We would have found a way to beat the 49ers if any of that were true. But that's not the case. It's looking just like last year. And some people are already saying that this year is going to be worse than last year. And knowing the way this team looks right now, and listening to the things you say, Nick Sirianni, that could very well happen. It clearly shows that you do not have what it takes to be an NFL head coach. And the one thing that confirmed it, uh, that I'm going to address right now, you admit you don't watch film on the defense? You are a head coach? How do you not watch film? That tells me that the Eagles hired a puppet for Howie Roseman who does not care whatsoever. He does not care at all. He's only there for the sake of job advancement and promotion just for the sake of job promotion. Worked, he got a head coaching job just for the sake of it. But he really does not care about the result. You know what? Get this clown out of here. I didn't think I'd say this his first season, but that right there, the fact that he admitted he doesn't watch game film, reminds me of the time when Hugh Jackson, when he was the coach of the Browns, admitted that he didn't know he had timeouts at the end of a half to stop the clock. That's what it reminds us. So I do not regret that comparison at all because that's what it's looking like. Who knows? And the way your things are looking now, Sirianni, you're on pace to keep track with Hugh Jackson's incompetence. You're on track to rival Hugh Jackson's incompetence as a coach. You're on track to be worse than Chip Kelly. You are on track for that, Sirianni. And you're already doing worse than Doug Peterson. So 
you're on track to easily be worse than Peterson. Cause at least with Doug Peterson, we won a Super Bowl. Well, we made the playoffs two seasons after the Super Bowl win. We at least had that with Dougie P. Now you Sirianni, so far we don't have anything good. And based on the comments you've made this week, where you admit you don't watch game film, use a flower analogy, which is completely inaccurate with the way this team's been playing, tells me you do not have any business being a head coach at the NFL level. And you know what? I'm not even going to bother making a preview video for this game against the Lions. I'm not going to drop a preview video. I'll talk about it a little bit after the game and what I saw from the game, win or lose or tie, but I'm not going to make a preview video. And I don't have much else to say except Nick Sirianni's comments this week proves he is not qualified to be an NFL head coach. And that's all I'm going to say. If you have anything else you'd like to say in the comment section, feel free to drop a comment. Share this video if you want to to get it out there. So I'll have a wonderful and safe weekend. Nikki Steve signing off. And I'll see you guys next time.